Hello and welcome to Tip of the Week by CADTEC Seminars. In this tip we'll discuss changing the position of a project and the associated tags in Revit. For instance, maybe you started a project and you had the ground floor set at 00. zero. Later on in the project you decide that due to things lower than the ground floor you want to set your ground floor at let's say 100. Uh, if you didn't start off this way it's not a problem. In Revit 2010 they've added a couple new features to make life easy. Let's take a look at them now. I'm going to go to uh, Revit Architecture, and here we are. Now we'll look at two different ways to do it. First of all, we'll move the project point, and then we'll move the shared parameter points. You can do some of these in AutoCAD 2009, but in 2010 and 11, it makes it a lot easier. So here we are with a little project. I'm running 2011. Uh, any version uh, will work. Uh, if whether we're using, let's say, MEP or Structural to do this little tip. Now, uh, as I zoom in on the project, you'll notice that uh, currently we have here uh, ground floors at zero. Now, if we go down to the little light bulb here, and I'm going to click on it, you'll notice that we get this little, uh, these little points. Now, the little points that are showing up, this is actually where your project uh, location is, project 00, zero and your shared uh, coordinates. Uh, base point. So that is the project base point. I'm hit tab and see if I can cycle through easily and get to the other one. So we have the, the project and then we have the, sh the shared. It's not liking that. Okay. Well, we got two of them here. So let's just look, uh, go ahead and uh, make this happen. Now, currently, what we have is the ground floor set to zero. Now, uh, probably the easiest one to do is if you go in here and you select the circle, you'll see it says project base point. Now, at this point, if I go to move it, I try to move it. Notice that uh, we moved it down a little bit. Now at this point, notice what's happened to the numbers. It's actually moved a bit. Now sometimes you can't move it. Now the, the reason being is I've unlocked it or unclipped it. You'll notice here uh, currently, see the little clip mark? If it's clipped, if I go to try to move it, you'll notice that uh, you get mixed results. See how the whole project moved? And you get to, you go to panicking. You're like, whoa, uh, that was weird. So notice that the project started to move and if we were to zoom in see zero zero is still there now this is the survey point okay if we click on it you'll see survey point and uh, you get some weird results so my recommendation is hit undo here hit undo again now when it comes time to manipulate these what you're going to do is you roll over what's the project point and I pick it now you'll notice it says project base point and it's uh, at a certain height elevation etc we make sure it's unclipped. You see you have the paper clip here? Unclip it. Now once it's unclipped and you've highlighted it, then use the move command. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my zero zero. That's what I'm in essence I'm doing. I'm using the move command and I'm going to, since it's highlighted, I'm going to pick on it and I'm going to drag the direction I want it to go. I want it, my zero zero to move down 100 feet. So I type in 100. I hit enter. Now notice what's happened to my ground floor. I'm going to turn this off. And you'll notice that the ground floor is 100 and 111, etc. And we have 94. So that made the adjustment there. Now let's check out something else. You'll see ground floor here. I'm going to click on my ground floor. And you'll notice inside of here, we can see the floor. And I'll actually turn this off. We can see the points. Now I'm going to come in here, go up top uh, to annotation. And we'll do, let's say, a spot elevation. We pick a spot elevation. And you'll notice that it's picking up 100. And that works out quite nice. So that is probably the easiest way to adjust the um, project uh, zero zero. Then again, the trick is if we go back to that elevation, the wrong one. Let's go pick the other. Just to recap, what you want to do is look for it. You'll see the circle one. I'll zoom out, and you'll see it down here. It's going to be 100 feet below. I pick on it, and you can actually see that the elevation is negative 100 now. So uh, by being down here, you notice that this here says 100. So from this survey point, that point has moved down negative 100. Okay. So all of the information now is all set up to correct. The trick is to make sure you unpin it. If you don't unpin it, you get mixed results. So give that a try. Uh, that will adjust your whole project, not just in this view. But if I go check out, let's say, my other views also. Let's turn on, and you'll notice that they're all 100. So that's the easiest way to go about it. Now, we'll take a look at another way. Let's use shared coordinates. I'm going to undo what I've just done. 
and we'll go back to let's say this elevation. Uh, again, I'll hit undo. Now we're back to where we were. Uh, I have my light bulb turned on so I can actually see the coordinates. The other one is the survey coordinates or shared coordinates. And what we can do is we can have a toggle actually to flip from uh, let's say the 0, 0 to the 100 foot. So if you want to use this we can actually use shared coordinates. So to do this we'll use a little bit different scenario. I'll go up top, I'm going to hit the manage tab. You'll see in here it says coordinates. Uh, we have location which now uh, supports in 2011 the ability to use uh, Google Earth and actually figure out where your location is uh, and all that from actually using uh, the project address or typing stuff in. Quite nice. Uh, we go to coordinates. This will set up where we can acquire pro coordinates from other, uh, let's say, Revit models. Publish coordinates and specify at a point. So this is another way we can actually uh, specify uh, the information. So I'm going to fire this off. Now if I come over here and I pick a point like so, you'll notice it says what's the elevation? Negative 5. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to type in, let's say, negative, or let's put this at 100 just so we can see. I hit OK on that. Notice I told that point to be 100, but notice it didn't update. You think, hmm. So that, uh, so how do we get that to work? Let's go back to that again. I go to coordinates, specify coordinates at a point. Again, I pick this point here. It says, hey, it's 100 feet. You're thinking, wait a second, uh, what's wrong with that? Why isn't it picking it up? Because what we've done is we've actually uh, specified shared coordinates. Now the cool thing is we have a project coordinates are set at zero. Shared coordinates, so I zoom out, which is the other one. It says survey, if you roll over it. It's this one here. Uh, that's the survey points. Now, or shared. So let's see how we can do this now. Zoom back to my project. And let's say today I want to print out a set using 00. zero. Tomorrow I decide I want to print out a set that the ground floor is 100. I can grab the tag and we'll go to edit type. You'll notice that the tag here the tag is actually pulling the elevation information from the project. If I switch it and say go to shared and I hit OK, you'll notice how it picks up that shared information. So remember we set this to 100 and it goes on up. So we're using the shared coordinates now. We're good to go. Got the adjustments. And then we may decide, OK, we're going back to the project coordinates. And we'll hit project and it'll go back to 0, 0. So there's a quick tip on how to move your uh, uh, elevations if you want to change it from let's say 0 to 100 or to adjust it to an actual site location. Uh, the shared coordinates give you in essence a switch and moving the project which is going and turning on the light bulb and picking the circular one and unlocking it. Okay, Let me see if I can get to it real quick. We'll hit tab tab. There it is. I actually had it a moment ago. Uh, we can unlock it and then make the adjustments as needed. So uh, give that a try. hope that helps. Uh, that is, again, tip from CAD Tech Seminars. If you want to check us out on the Internet, uh, go to freerevittraining.com, and you can find out more about our training and support. Thank you.